So this is the 41st anniversary of the Terry Fox's Marathon of Hope, and we're honored to have us joined by uh, Terry's brother, Fred Fox. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us today. Uh, it's great to uh, be able to join you, and uh, always a good time to talk about Terry and the Terry Fox run every year. So now, uh, we've seen the footage of uh, Terry's uh, Marathon of Hope, and uh, for a lot of us who've grown up in Canada, we've heard Terry's stories. Uh, what do you remember of Terry? Wow, you know, um, I'm Terry's older brother. I'm the oldest brother of four siblings, and Terry was the second oldest. We're only 14 months apart in age. So, you know, my my favorite memories of Terry don't really involve the Marathon of Hope and all that, but it's about you know, all the things that we did. We were very involved with sports uh, where we grew up in the Vancouver area and Port Coquitlam and, and all the things that we did as kids. Um, so those are my fondest memories. But but I do remember that Terry was always a very determined. He wasn't the biggest and best athlete. Uh, he loved to play sports, but wasn't always the best. And he was always the guy that was always working the hardest on any team that he played on, uh, even in school and in the classroom. He was always the one that had to work harder. So, you know, Terry, uh, although we had a, a bit of a work ethic and a work habit that we were taught, Terry took that to a different level. It didn't matter whether it was in sports or school work or whatever he did. He he always gave it that extra effort. Can't believe it's been 41 years since his Marathon of Hope. No, you know, I, you got to pinch yourself every now and then and look at the calendar and also, you know, what, what you got left on the top of your head for hair and everything else to recognize how many years have passed. And, and um, you know, but it, it's amazing. It, you know, we always, what we see, as you mentioned, you know, we see the video, we see the pictures of Terry. Terry never gets older. Uh, Terry's always this 21-year-old kid that's running across Canada. I think that's one of the reasons that uh, schools across Canada um, – I um, mean, Moose Jaw and Saskatchewan have been still so involved over the years because uh, there's that close connection to Terry in age, but also um, he's a great example of what you can accomplish when you work at it. So it doesn't seem like 41 years, I guess, be only partially because I'm involved with it every day. So, uh, but um, it doesn't happen without so many dedicated Canadians across Canada. And of course, 41 years later, we are still... Uh, honoring Terry's legacy. Uh, what does that mean to you and the Fox family? It's amazing. You know, it's uh, for all of us, it's been a challenging year the last uh, year and a half or so with the pandemic. And, you know, last year we had to go uh, virtually uh, do a virtual Terry Fox run last year, one day your way. And, um, you know, things have changed a little bit this year, of course. And uh, there are some um, um challenges but it's amazing it's canadians that have made this happen even in, in the most difficult year that we've ever had in 41 years when it comes to terry fox runs so um this year you know and much of the country will be virtual but we know there is some locations um across canada in saskatchewan that uh, will be doing an in-person terry fox run and that's awesome If Terry could see what his Marathon of Hope has sparked this many years later, uh, what do you think his reaction would have been? You know, Terry, he would be so he would be proud. He would be proud of what Canadians did. When Terry was uh, running through Ontario, he's actually in in Toronto. He did this uh, at Scarborough Civic Center. He made this passionate, inspiring speech. And one of the things that Terry said was, "Even if I don't finish." We need others to continue. It's got to keep going without me. And, you know, when Terry was forced to stop in Thunder Bay um, and come home and then, you know, he, he passed away from his second diagnosis, Canadians responded to that challenge that Terry made. We They've connect, continued this just like Terry asked, that they continue it for years and years. He'd be so proud. The biggest thing that Terry would be proud of, though, would be where cancer research is today. Over $850 million has been raised in Terry's name for cancer research, and it's truly impacted research in this country and impacted uh, so many lives over the years as well. And with that, can you tell us a little bit about the amazing work that the Terry Fox Foundation is doing? Yeah, you know, I think one of the things, um, you know, the money that we raise every year goes to the Terry Fox Research Institute, uh, which is head office here in in the Vancouver area, but they they have nodes or um, research labs right across Canada. And um, 
um, that they're making strides all the time. The biggest thing that they do is the collaboration that happens across Canada. They're just not working in their little silos all by themselves. They're, they're exchanging data, they're exchanging ideas, they're ex exchanging information. And because of that, um, you know, new discoveries are being made every day. Uh, a cancer diagnosis, although still uh, a scary thing to be to be dealing with, a cancer diagnosis is so much better because of research and the money that's been raised by the foundation over the years is so much better than it was 10, 20, 40 years ago when Terry was diagnosed. And of course, a lot of this, uh, if not all, is thanks to the donations and the Terry Fox run, isn't it? Well, it's a big part of, uh, you know, we're, we, of, of what we've done, whether it's Terry Fox runs in, in 400 communities across Canada or 9,000 school school Terry Fox runs. Um, the Terry Fox run has had a huge, uh, played a huge part of uh, the fundraising that happens every year. You know, we're, we're expanding, we're doing different things uh, to, to raise money, but um, but that's been the key thing for, for 41 years. Uh, the very first Terry Fox run happening in September of 1981. And um, it, can, it continued to be our bread and butter. And, uh, but the, it, you know, it brings people together. That's what Terry did. He brought Canadians together in 1980 and, and the Terry Fox run continues to do that each year. And I guess just finally, um, how can people donate to the Terry Fox Foundation? Yeah, you know, the easiest way to do that uh, is go to terryfox.org, the website, um, and you can make create your own donation page or a fundraising page if you want, or you can just go on to the website and make a, make a donation. But uh, terryfox.org is probably the best place to go, and you can find all kinds of information about the foundation, about Terry, about cancer survivors, about the research that's happening. And then, you know, and also, you know, do some fundraising and, and make a donation as well. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, I thank you very much, Sean. And, um, you know, the, it, it's just, you know, it's awesome that, again, we're able to, you know, talk about uh, Terry and the Terry Fox run. And, and again, with what we've been dealing with for the last year and a half. And I, it's so great to know that in, in Moose Jaw, there, there is going to be a Terry Fox run at Kinsman uh, River Park and, and that there's going to be an opportunity for people to, to gather and uh, safely and, and do their Terry Fox run there. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. It's been a real honor. Thank you so much, Fred. Awesome. Thank you.